Now, let us solve problem number 2. Sa mesh analysis pa rin tayo with voltage sources. Ang problem number 2, ang pagkakaiba niya is meron tayong uh, voltage uh, dependent source dito na 4 I sub O. Voltage source de na dependent sa current. Ito, I sub O. And then, ang instruction is to find mesh... Uh, Using mesh analysis, we have to find I sub O, branch current I sub O. So, hindi pinapahanap yung lahat ng branch current, yung I sub O lang. Nakadraw na yung mga branch current and including yung mga loop currents natin. So, susundan na lang natin sila. Again, kapag hindi binigay yung mga loop currents and branch current, kayo ang magdodrawing. Uh, walang tamang or specific na uh, loop direction and current direction. You can assume current direction. Wala tayong problema doon. So, start tayo na mag-KVL sa loop 1. KVL at loop 1. Bakit dito? KVL at loop 1. And So, negative 24. Case Negative 24, tapos, wala na resistor dito. Doon na agad tayo sa 10. Kaso lang, dalawang current ang dadaan sa kanya. Loop current, so I sub 1 minus, ano yung kabila? I sub 2. Okay, tapos puta tayo kay 12. Okay, dalawang current din. Loop current ang dadaan sa kanya. I sub 1 minus, I sub 3 equals 0. After that, we arrange. So, 10, I sub 1, minus 10, I sub 2. Distribute mo to. Yung 24, lipat natin sa kabila. Plus 12, I sub 1. Minus 12, I sub 3. Equals 24. And then, combine like terms. Ano ba papares dyan? Itong I1, at saka ito. Okay. So, 10 plus 12, that is 22. So, 22, I sub 1. And then, yung I sub 2, mag-isa niya lang. So, minus, okay, 10 I sub 2. And then, minus 12 I sub 3. Mag-isa lang I sub 3 equals 24. We can divide both sides or multiply both sides by 1 half. 1 half. Oo, 1 half na lang. 1 half. So, ang ating term uh, equation I need is <clears throat> 11 I sub 1 okay, minus 5 I sub 2 minus 6 I sub 3 okay, so equals 12. This is our equation 1. Yeah. Equation 1. We expect na ang makukuha nating number of equations ay 1, 2, 3. So, 3 by 3 yung ating uh, 3 and those 3 equations. But, um, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa mesh natin sa I3, meron tayong unknown na naman na I sub O. So, magkakaroon tayo ng isang additional unknown. Pero, papalitan natin yung I sub O in terms of uh, I1 and I2 kasi magka-KCL tayo. Kapag kasi hinayaan na natin nandun yung I sub O, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 equations for unknowns. So, ang gusto sana natin, as much as possible, mapaiksay yung number of simultaneous equations natin. So, we can do that by applying KCL at node A in terms of I sub O, makakakuha tayo ng equation, and then substitute na lang natin. So, mamaya na natin gawin yun. KVL muna tayo sa loop 2. Ayan. So, dito tayo sa loop 2. So, 4. Saan ko na kay 4? 4 ohms. So, sa 4 ohms, dalawa ang dadaan. Tama? I2, reference natin I2, minus I3. Okay. Tapos, pada ako kay 10. Dalawa ang dadaan. I sub 2 ulit. Minus yung kabila. Kabila is I sub 1. And then, ikot so, plus 24. Okay, isa lang ang dadaan na current K24. I sub 2. Equal 0. And then, combine like terms. 4I sub 2. Distribute mo na pala. K24 
Okay, for i sub 3 plus 10, i sub 2 minus 10, i sub 1 plus 24, i sub 2 equals 0. Ano magkakaparehas? i sub 1 muna. Okay, mag-isa lang yung i sub 1. Si i sub 2, dalawa. And then, meron tayong i sub 3. Oops. Isa lang din pala ang i sub 3. Ang i sub 2 natin, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, I sub 1, then I sub 1. Ayan. Mungan na natin to. Negative. Next, 4 plus 10, 14 plus 24. So, 4 plus 10. Okay. 14 plus 24. Thirty-eight. Okay, and then we want to add the total minus four i sub three equals zero. So ito multiply natin by multiply natin by one half. Okay. So this is negative five i sub one. Negative 5 I sub 1 plus 19 I sub 2. Okay, minus 2 I sub 3 equals 0. Okay, negative 5 I sub 1 plus 19 I sub 2 minus 2 I sub 3 equals 0. So, this is our equation 2. Nanggaling sa loop 2. Okay, next, KVL at loop 3. 